quick video on how to test your MIDI device and make sure your MIDI ports are working on your Windows computer. Uh, I'm using MIDI Aux, which is a fantastic little program for this, and I have a link in the description. So a lot of people haven't used MIDI Aux. It looks kind of confusing at first. Mine's a little customized with background and whatnot, but uh, basically it just kind of opens up to a, just a blank background. Um, and you can hit this little red button here for the input. And if you want to see your output, you can go to the little blue one. Um, and so I've set both of those up. Then we want to set and see uh, where the MIDI data is. So I like to hit this little green one, which brings up this MIDI activity section. And you can drag these little modules anywhere inside the window. Um, and then so to set up which ports it's listening to and looking at, you'll want to go to options and then MIDI devices. So here's our MIDI devices window. Um, so it shows all your different devices. Right now I have a keyboard connected to my Mio XM and it's connected to an RTP port that I've named Apples123. So I'm just selecting Apples123. And you can select nothing for the output or you can select the wavetable synth which will give you just like a piano sound, uh, pretty generic. Um, so I'm just gonna do it without even doing that. I'm just gonna hit okay. And so this is a great way to check your input. So now if I hit this, you can see here's all my note data. There you go. So you can see all the note information on and off, and you can see which channel they're on even. Um, and you see it over here in the middle, you can see which channel it's on. And if I was going back out, I could also monitor the out the same way. So hopefully that helps you out.